Flowers of Fantastico is a really important project for me. Um, so how about I tell you about what inspired it? My senior year of college, I was very depressed and sad. Uh, my Christmas break, I spent entirely by myself, alone in my apartment. Um, rather heartbroken over some stupid person that didn't like me. So I'm really sad and drunk and alone and it's Christmas and I'm at my apartment watching Netflix instant viewing and because there wasn't a very good selection I was just watching musicals and I watched Godspell and I'd never seen Godspell before and I was like wow this movie is so weird. If you haven't seen Godspell you should check it out. It's like the story of Jesus and Victor Garber is in it as Jesus but he wears like a Superman t-shirt and he's got like a giant afro. I don't know it's just like really weird and you should watch it. Um, as I was watching Godspell, uh, drunk and sad and heartbroken, I realized that Jennifer Beals was in Godspell. And I was like, oh man, Jennifer Beals is in Godspell? This is crazy! I had no idea! My mind was kind of blown. And then, you know, a little bit later I went on IMDb and I noticed that Jennifer Beals is too young to have been in Godspell. She's not credited in the movie. She was like 10 when the movie was made. And I was like, this is weird because this woman in this movie is Jennifer Beale. She looks exactly like her. And I thought to myself, wow, is this woman um, an actress who looks a lot like Jennifer Beals or is she Jennifer Beals? And I realized maybe Jennifer Beals is some sort of eternally young vampire-like creature and she faked this previous identity and then created a new identity to be famous with. Because if you look at Jennifer Beals, she never ages. Like seriously, look at Jennifer Beals in Flashdance and then look at her in Four Rooms or look at her on the L Word and, and you'll notice that Jennifer Beals is eternally young. She's ageless. And and then I thought, oh my goodness, what if um what if this were true? What if what what would happen if uh my best friend and I discovered a movie that had a celebrity in it that like that proved that uh, that they were lying about their age, that I had discovered some kind of proof. Um, and so that that was the starting point for Fantastic. I just sort of imagined what would happen if things kept escalating and, and how crazy could could things get. In 2011, I directed a full-length play called The Flowers of Fantastico in the New York Fringe Festival. It played at the Ellen Stewart Theater. It was cool to do it live because we figured out how to have like demons explode in um, in a theater and we had like fake like special effects for stage where like arms would get cut off and it was like really cool. But I really felt like this was a piece that needed to be a television series, that it was episodic because not only did I have the idea for The Flowers of Fantastico, but I had an idea for a sequel and I had an idea for a third sequel. And I was like, okay, this is episodic and this, um, this needs to be filmed. Um, ideally it would be a TV show, but I uh, am poor and I'm not well connected or well established yet as a filmmaker. And uh, so I can't be like, hey HBO, help me make my series. That's clearly not going to happen. Uh, so I was like, screw it. I'm going to make a web series. I'm going to uh, do this myself and maybe uh, people will like it and then I will uh, keep doing it. And you know, um, so this year uh, in April we shot the first six episodes of what will be an 18 episode season one. It's I'm in the middle of post-production right now. Um, we're editing episode three. I, again, I don't know when we're going to launch. I don't know when it's going to be finished. I don't know if people are going to like it. I have a lot of anxiety about this project, but I think it's going to be really cool. And um, I don't know, I just really hope that I can share this narrative with the internet and, um, you know, that it's something really meaningful uh, because a lot of people helped me make this web series. like. Dozens of people donated their time and effort for free just to make these six episodes. And, um, and so I really want the series to be successful as a way to say thank you to them for their help. And also, um, I really want to be rich and famous, and I really think this is my in.